Tony with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Good morning, and one thing we do know is that a lot of the snow that you're seeing out there right now will be disappearing by the end of the weekend because of the milder temperatures. Speaking of snowpack, here has been the trend. We've put a little bit of a dent in it this week. We had that day with some of the rain showers, temperatures in the 40s. That lowered it from 10 to about 7, but we're going to be dropping this a lot more by Sunday into Monday, maybe just a few inches left by Monday morning. Maybe nothing at all in some spots. And at Oakland Beach and Warwick, we are seeing that layer of snow on the ground. Again, we'll eat away at a lot of this this weekend. Sunglasses required on both days, even though we will start to see some high clouds slipping across the skies this morning. So at times we kind of dim out the sunshine, but more sun than clouds overall. Five miles an hour for a wind speed right now in Smithfield, completely calm in Taunton, New Bedford calm and westerly calm conditions. So it's a cool, calm start. Eventually these uh, winds start to mix the atmosphere together and that will help push up our temperatures. But we'll be left right now with temperatures in the low 20s. So if you're heading out early on a walk or maybe doing some errands, bring along that winter jacket. 22 right now in Smithfield, 19 Taunton, 26 Newport, 23 in Westerly. A little bit milder with those breezes coming in from the southwest on Block Island with a temperature of 34 degrees. Nothing showing up on live pinpoint Doppler 12. Here are those clouds I mentioned, a few of them streaming in from the northwest will slip through this morning. And we don't have a lot going on with our long term weather pattern, high pressure building in. This center of low pressure will pass to our north today. That'll actually increase the winds. And then on the back side of that, it'll drop in a front by Sunday night into Monday. That will bring in some colder temperatures for a couple of days. But as you will see in a few minutes in the holiday weekend future cast, no travel issues or rain or anything like that. This morning, temperatures in the mid 30s, you can see gradually warming things into the upper 40s. It just takes a few hours for that process to happen. And then by tonight, actually not really that cold of a night. If you're out late tonight, 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, most of our temperatures actually staying above the freezing mark before we see those 50s on the way for tomorrow. This afternoon, temperatures in the mid to upper 40s, 48 Wickford, 47 Hope Valley, 46 in Charlestown, Narragansett at 43. Now, if you're walking along the seawall in Narragansett or maybe taking a stroll in Charlestown, Newport or Jamestown. You probably feel those winds start to get pretty gusty by the middle of the afternoon, cooling off things just a little bit. So don't be surprised if things feel a little different once those winds pick up. 45 for you in Burville, 44 Foster, 46 in Situate. It'll get breezy here during the afternoon, 10 to 15 with some gusts of around 25, but not as windy in these spots as we're going to see along the south coast. And for eastern Massachusetts, temperatures also in the upper 40s, 47 Seekonk, 46 Attleboro, 47 in Fall River. And obviously when we're forecasting upper 40s, it's always possible that a few spots touch the 50s today. I think that's more likely to happen, at least in a widespread sense tomorrow with those 50s. So a slow climb through the 30s this morning, and you need a little patience to get into the 40s today. 42 by around lunchtime, 48 by 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Notice the trend of the increasing breeze throughout the day. Holiday weekend, tomorrow 53, mostly sunny skies. And then on Monday, there will be some changes back to around 41 for a high temperature. We get the sunshine, though. It's just we have those cooler breezes putting a cooler feel in the atmosphere on Monday when you compare it to Sunday. Speaking of Sunday, yes, 53 is warm. It's well above normal, about 12 degrees above normal for Sunday, but nowhere close to the record of 64. That was set in 1997. No matter what happens with our normal temperatures and our records, certainly more melting. And then next week, right in here, Wednesday and Thursday, chance of a few showers, although not a big enough chance for me to put the raindrops on the extended forecast just yet. But stay tuned. We'll keep you updated both on the air and online. I also posted a new weather blog talking about the chance of snow coming up here in March and April. That's on WPRI.com. Now, Eyewitness 